All right, guys. So these are some Under Armour joggers that I actually received as a gift. Um, and to tell you the truth, obviously they're made for working out. They're made for fitness. Um, you could also wear them casually, but because this is made of a out of a kind of tech wear fabric, uh, people are gonna know that they're mainly made for working out. I guess you can say so. Uh, so a couple of things we're going to be talking about is, of course, price, the fit, uh, the material, and quality. So let's get into that. And a couple of details that are pretty cool, I guess you can say. So price. I know originally price were about 70 bucks, but uh, these were actually a gift. And I seen them on the outlet, and I think they were about half off, so when... I guess they got them as a gift for me. They were about 35 bucks. I don't know, they're still available now because in outlets, I know that they passed down like the stuff that they still have in stock before they come out with new stuff. So these are probably some of the old models, but I use these mainly for working out, running, um, casually wearing around the house. And I recently started using them for skateboarding. Uh, turns out they're actually pretty great and I'm gonna get into that why. Like I said, price, 75 though, okay? Um, the quality in these is pretty good. It's made up out of a 90% polyester with 10% spandex, if I'm not mistaken. 10% elastin, which is similar to spandex. So they do have a really good stretch to them. You know? Very nice, um, nothing too crazy. The stretch parts are mainly up here. Little band, they have some nice I guess it's called laser welded zippers right here. One pocket right there. And they got some right here as well. No, I'm not sure these are YKK zippers, but they get the job done. They got a little nice imprint on the inside of the waistband as well as drawstrings on the inside. So that we can just tie it up and tuck it in, keep it hidden. On the bottom cuff, it's not a jogger style where it kind of cuffs. It's like it's just a regular pants, but it does have this string with a little lock or a little pull tab that you pull the pants snug to your ankles and simply lock that in and it keeps the figure. So if you're skating, well, if you're skating and um, you don't want to drag over your shoes, you kind of just raise them up, tie them up, lock them in place. And same thing for running, working out, whatever it is, that's a little nice feature it has. Um, the fit is good. It's kind of a tapered slim fit where the thigh area is a little bit loose, but as it gets down to the calf, it tapers in, not to a point where it's snugging your, the crap out of your calf, but there's enough room in there where it's a loose fit and your foot feels pretty good in there. And it's not gonna go over your foot, uh, it just lands right over your shoe. So they're made obviously for working out or active movements, so that's very nice. Um, it does have this little panels right here, just kind of, um, I guess what's known for to, not too sure if I'm saying this right, but kind of a structure. So it kind of keeps the shape. I'm not too sure. I'm not really sure how that works, but it's pretty cool. Um, qualities are pretty good. I have fallen. Obviously when you're skating, you are going to eat crap and you're going to scrape some of your pants and your clothes but they've been holding up pretty well. You can minorly see a little bit of scratching right here in the area where obviously I ate crap, didn't mind the trick, and I got scraped myself. And the comfort is actually really good. Now, in comfort wise, because these are made out of polyester, um, a synthetic material, when it gets hot, it's not gonna be as breathable as cotton, but because it's not fleece on the inside, it's like an analog material, which is like the same on in and outside. Uh, you're not gonna feel the heat so much. You'll feel a little bit, maybe on the outside, because obviously hitting the fabric, but on the inside, it's not gonna be so much because of not, first of all, it's not fleece, and second of all, because the polyester is a sweat wicking material, you're not gonna feel it so bad. So that's pretty good. Another thing with the fabric is that. They are lightweight, you know, polyester is known to be a little bit lighter than cotton. So not too sure what G send this is, but it's pretty light. 
it's pretty good. The waistband is a little bit thicker than the other parts, so you can definitely feel the weight there. But here, it's really not that heavy. So that's pretty good. Um, Under Armour is obviously known to make great stuff. I do have a few other stuff from them as a tech wear shirt, but it's all 100% polyester. Those, um, not the biggest fan, not because of what's made out of, but because I guess when it comes to washing them, I'm not sure if I'm washing them the wrong way, but I start seeing holes come out on the shirt and I was like, that's kind of a bummer. I do have a soil sweater and another uh, hooded kind of like lightweight shirt. So that's pretty cool. But I want to review these because I actually use these for skateboarding. And nowadays you've seen a lot more people use these kind of pants, like active wear pants for skating. And I can see why. They're very comfortable. They had that good stretch. So when you're having to do certain movement, you got to kind of move your legs out of the way or move in a certain way. You don't feel restricted in them. They're lightweight. Um, and overall, they're very comfortable fit. I can see why they're using them. I don't blame them. Shit, they're pretty good. I don't know if that's a bad thing in many people's eyes, but at the same time, I don't think those people give a damn. You know, they're just skating whatever they feel good, comfortable, and then they're killing it and they're doing rad tricks. Well, then hell, why not? You know, that's awesome. Um, that's gonna be it for this small review. I really couldn't do much on this review mainly because these are an older model. So this is just to start off with, but as soon as we get more stuff, guys, we're definitely gonna be re reviewing them as they come in. So that way, if you guys go look them up, they're still available. This is just an old pair of hat. You can still probably find some similar to this. Possibly not this model though, because like I said, it might be discontinued at this time, but there's definitely other models out there newer, possibly the same fabric and possibly a lot better now. That's gonna be for this review guys. I'm very sorry that it's very short, very small. Hopefully that was helpful. But don't worry because we got more coming and we got more details on the stuff that are coming because we're gonna keep it up to date, hopefully. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day.